Hello and welcome my Intentional Intention ASMR Collective. Today I wanted to do another evolutionary experiment with you to have a little bit of fun and see what AI, as in chat GPT, thinks of ASMR. So the, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put in some chat GPT prompting see what it says, and then put that into mid-journey so that we can get images out of it and try to figure it out. And I think that you're going to get a lot of uh, smiles and a lot of tingles from this as well. So I wrote, what is the future of ASMR? And please be descriptive as possible. Now, obviously, I'm not going to read all of this, but you'll notice what I'm trying to do here is to drill down and then keep drilling down. So Right now, when we start this, we're at a very, very sort of high, almost 30,000 foot level where we're asking the interpretation of, air quotes, artificial intelligence, what the future of ASMR looks like. So you can see that it goes into all kinds of different stuff. What is mainstream? What is personalized? It talks about uh, collaborations <coughs> and cross-disciplinary explorations, and then a little bit about the scientific part of it. So. <clears throat> what I decided to do as this kind of fun experiment is to find one of these numbers and then put that into Midjourney, which is an a AI auto art generator. <clears throat> and uh, what we do is we'll just prompt for it here and uh, we'll go ahead and enter it in. Uh, I have a few little switches I like to use. Version 5.1 at the time of this recording was the latest. And 16.9 is just a nice aspect ratio to have. This is the same thing that I do use to generate some of the uh, images that I use on YouTube. So if it kind of looks a little familiar, that's that's what I use to, uh, to generate those. So anyway, so in the background, I'm just going to kind of switch back and forth between this web browser using Brave specifically and uh, what also it takes to... Um, create these, which is in Discord. So <clears throat> while that one is currently running, you can actually look at the percentage and see the amount of it there. We can go ahead and we can add another Imagine switch. So the way that you actually use Midjourney is you backslash and then um, Imagine and then p paste in whatever um, <clears throat> prompting that you want to do. And in our case, we're actually going directly with ChatGPT. So this first one, this future one, uh, looks pretty amazing. I mean, there's like a little cartoon character in the in what we call um, uh, sort of unit four or square four in the lower right hand corner, and then some very realistic women in this. And what's really interesting about this is uh, you'll notice that it's all women first off, which is something I'm taking a stand for, which is having more men in ASMR, and they also have their eyes closed. So the artificial intelligence must correlate relaxation and having your eyes closed. So <clears throat> all four are women and all four have long hair <clears throat> and all four have their uh, eyes closed. So kind of interesting. So <clears throat> now I take a little bit of another turn and I say, what is the most popular trigger in ASMR on YouTube? <clears throat> Well, as you know, um, the chat GPT was actually cut off, pulled away from the internet in September of 2021. So we're actually going on maybe a couple years worth of older data. So we'll see what they say, but I grabbed that second image to take a look, paste it into a browser. And again, we see a couple more similarities. We see all women, we see all women, um, actually all women with headsets on and long hair. There's one of just a microphone and there's one of a kind of a microphone and a, like a mixing board or something like that. Um, so anyway, so I ask for what the most popular trigger is here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do more sort of click downs with this. So let's go to personal attention. That's one that I love. That's one that you love. Let's put in this quest question about personal attention. So we're going to prompt for just personal attention. Of course, I add in my own switches there, that's 16.9 and version 5.1 that I mentioned earlier. And um, you know what this generates, again, is it just another 
This is just their interpretation of it. So now I'm going to ask another click down, and I usually do about three of these when I do really this for anything, even at work. So what is the most popular personal attention ASMR trigger on YouTube? So now we're going one layer deeper. And in going to this layer deeper, we're going to take another look to see what is available there. So now we see, now we're starting to get a little more niche -y. We see hair brushing, face touching, role play examinations, hand movements, and makeup application. So of course, as this is going on in the background, I have more prompting going on on Mid Journey. So I chose to go with face touching. Face touching is one that invokes a lot of triggers and tingles inside of my own personal life. And I've, I know I've shared this before, but I've taken the test in my love language is touch. So we're gonna drill down a little deeper. So we started with ASMR. We move to personal attention. Now we're moving to face touching. Uh, same prompts as before, 16.9 version 5.1. You guys know my, my personality now is to keep things very consistent, uh, which I <clears throat> like to do in life and many aspects of my life. So now I'm gonna continue to double screen work here and we're going to click down for a third layer. And this third layer, we're asking chat GPT, what is the most popular type of personal attention face touching ASMR on YouTube? And, uh, <clears throat> you know, the assumption, obviously, since you're watching this on YouTube and I'm putting this on YouTube, is that we're consistently sticking with YouTube as sort of the sort of the base model. And if there's other places where you would go to listen to ASMR, go ahead and leave a comment and let me know because I would love to propagate this on maybe sort of a decentralized platform. <clears throat> but going back to our second layer, <clears throat> we have quite a different uh, react, um, you know, result that, that's occurring. So I'm going to open up a new tab and <clears throat> just kind of throw that in there. We even have a cartoon model. We have a kind of a half-eaten hairbrush <laughs> there uh, and, <clears throat> and more females. So obviously females are associated with ASMR. Nothing wrong with that. I knew this was not going to be an easy ride when I started, and uh, it's good to not have goals, right? <laughs> okay, so now we are going to move down to a fourth level, which is facial examination. So we've gone from ASMR to personal attention to face touching to now face touching triggers that are face examinations. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, as you can tell, I actually added in the switch of ultra realistic for that second one. And um, it really, it turned out really good. I mean, one of the things that Mid Journey uh, version 5.1 is, is really good at is doing fingers and toes. So where before you would generate someone and they would have, you know, like eight toes on one foot and seven fingers on another, it's getting a little bit better when it comes to human extremities. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so we hit, see this one where it's, it's literal face touching, where we have hands uh, that look like they're both from the person themselves, which would be uh, image three there. In fact, both image threes now show that. And then other people's hands. So if you look at quadrant one, which has the gloves and the hand, we see, um, you know, again, all female, again, we're all eyes closed. So I don't really expect this to change. I Sometimes when I do different sessions, depending on the client, it will change for Mid Journey. But let's take a little bit of a better look at, uh, at this one here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you can quickly tell the interpretation is uh, all women. And even there, it looks like there's almost some face drawing or some face um, <coughs> mapping, if you will. So, and of course, I accidentally moved, moved the browser. Sorry about that. <coughs> and yeah, so that is the uh, machine learning interpretation of what ASMR looks like. So again, what it looks like. <coughs> My friend, thank you so much.
for joining me and being a part of my ASMR collective. I appreciate you, and I'll talk to you very soon.